In this video, we're going to look at HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is the programming language used to develop websites. Before we look at some HTML basics, it's important you know what we mean by structure and presentation with HTML. Every website should be designed with consideration of structure and presentation. But what's the difference? The structure refers to the actual content on the website, whereas the presentation refers to the layout and style of the website. The reason it's important to know the difference is we actually use a different language for each. We create the structure using HTML, but we create the presentation using a language called CSS. The best way of looking at it is the HTML code shows the content, but the CSS controls how the content is presented. Here is an example of CSS code. Remember, this puts nothing on our website, but once we write HTML code, the CSS code will determine what that text will look like when displayed in your browser. In this code, we are actually describing different sections of text. H refers to the header. Let's take a look at these one by one. So here's what header one looks like, or H1. You can see it uses the Arial font. It is also centered and has the font size 32. Next, we have header three, or H3. This uses a font from the Semif family, which is a collection of fonts, including Times New Roman, Corio, and more. It also uses font size 16. Finally, we have the P code, which is for paragraph. This is what our main text will look like on the web page. We have chosen to use a font from the Sans Serif family, and there's the list of Sans Serif fonts. We have justified our text, which you can't really see here, as it's only one word, and we're using the font size 12. One thing you'll notice, the texts are all different colors. That's because we set them to different colors in our CSS code. The colors are represented using hex, but we'll look at that in more detail some other time. Let's now see some HTML code. Also, just before we do go into HTML code, you'll notice the text examples I've got there, they're all about the same size. Uh, I didn't want to change the size just to make sure it was easier to read. But yeah, let's carry on. So, here is an example of HTML code. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the code, but we're actually going to break it down, not line by line, but tag by tag. Okay, let's start off with HTML. This is known as the root element, and it makes it clear we're using HTML. One thing you notice on the tags is uh, data or text is stored in between the tags. Um, the start and the end of the tag is recognized because the ending tag has that forward slash at the start of it. Okay. Um, next, we've got the head tag. This is known as a document head, um, and it's used to contain information about the file. You can see in our example, the head tag actually contains information about the CSS code that we saw on the previous screen. Next, you've got the body tag. Um, the body tag contains all the content for the page. And finally, you've already seen H1, H3, and P in CSS. Well, we also put them here as tags. Um, uh, these are section tags, header one, header three, and paragraph. You can have a range of different types of headers. So you could have header one, header two, header three, header four, header five, etc. The way these uh, different sections will look are actually defined in the CSS file as we've already seen. All right, so here is our HTML code. Um, you can see here is the line for the CSS, and over here is the actual content on the HTML code. Now, what you're seeing on the right, that is the content being displayed, uh, but that was if we were to ignore any CSS code. Okay, now if we consider the CSS code in that line above, because we're referencing it up there you will see the difference it would now make to the code 
So it's the exact same text, but now it actually has its uh, formal layout based on that stuff in the code. Okay. And there is the CSS code uh, in case you want to just have a quick look to see how it ended up the way it did. Feel free to pause the video here to make some notes. All right. And that's everything you need to know about HTML and I guess a bit of CSS as well.